Hi, and welcome back to a new season. My name's Karen, and this is a lifestyle channel for women in their 50s, 60s, and beyond. In today's video, we will be looking at Kosis. First thing we'll be looking at is the tinted face oil. You can see it comes in 16 shades from pretty light to very dark. And according to the back of this, this is a clean light coverage skin tint and nourishing skincare elixir with a velvety finish that still looks like your skin, just more even, healthy, and balanced. It has avocado oil, green tea seed oil, jojoba seed oil, metafoam oil, red raspberry oil, rosehip seed oil. It is vegan, cruelty free, and gluten free. It's free of mineral oil, talc, silicones, fragrance, parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. It says it is non-irritating, allergy tested, clinically tested, non-comedogenic, and dermatologically tested. I'm gonna start with O1 and see how this works for me. So you just get the tiniest little amount of product. My fingertip, I'm gonna start here and blend outward. What I'm seeing already is the little dots and there's like basically no coverage whatsoever. Since there were white dots with O1, it may be that the foundation was too light. Oh, so I'm gonna try O2, this is O2. All right, I still have white spots right here. Okay, so O1 and O2 were probably a little too light. We're gonna go into O3 now. I'm just gonna apply it to the cheek this time to just kind of see how the color looks. I think this color match is better for me because I'm not seeing the little white spots. This shade is not accentuating my pores at all. I think it would have been better if they'd put their foundation into uh, these little like bubble kind of samples because at least that way you could get a better gauge of how it looks. It does look like skin. I can see my skin through there pretty easily. It feels nice. It doesn't seem to be accentuating any pores, but just to make sure, I'm gonna try the 3.5. That looks like that could be a pretty good match as well. I'm gonna use this part of my forehead and we're gonna try zero, uh, zero 04 and apply to the forehead. Okay, so that one looks like it may be just a tiny bit dark, but it's really hard to tell with these sample sizes being so small. So I'm gonna try the 05 over here. I think this one's too dark. So that tells me I'm definitely three, 3.5 or four. The five is too dark. So I have 5.5 all the way to 10 that I will be giving away. All right, the next thing I have is the Reveal, let's see, it's the Revealer Concealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. And I have these two sample cards um, I'm pretty sure all of these are too dark for me, so I'll put these in a giveaway. I got the uh, the 0.5, this one right here. So I'm not even gonna open these. This is the 0.5, so I just wanna show you what this looks like. Okay, so this is their lightest concealer, the 0.5, and you can see that even on me, it has like a yellowish cast on my eye that is not really attractive. I don't really care for it. Now the good thing is, is if you are not as fair as I am, there is such a wide range that you could most likely find a color that would suit you. But for very fair complexions, I don't think this is really gonna work. We're gonna move on to eyes and brows. This is the brow gel, tinted brow gel, and it goes from taupe to gray. It does have castor oil, provitamin B5, and biotin oil, tripeptide one. 
These uh, help support growth and um, take care of damage. It says it helps revive damaged hair. So I think I will try actually the um, soft brown. Okay, I tried the tinted brow gel in soft brown and I would say it's basically a disaster. I never seem to be able to get these to go where I want them to go. Uh, they leave all kinds of little ball things everywhere. They're just a mess and I don't care for them. But if you're more talented than I am and you like brow gels, I have every color except soft brown available for a giveaway. So moving on, I got a sample of the Kosas Air Brow. And this is the cutest tiny little sample I've ever seen of a clear brow gel. I have applied it to this brow and just kind of shaped. There's no color on there at all, but I, what I want to do is let this sit and come back and see how it feels. So we'll do that. In the meantime, we're gonna move on to the Big Clean. This is their mascara. Okay, it got clumpy and spidery really, really fast. I don't care for that look. I'm just gonna let that sit. We'll see if there's any fallout by the time we're through with the rest of these products and we're gonna move on to face. This is the Color and Light Pressed Powder Blush and Highlighter Duo, Duo Sample. I've got these. This is the Longitude Zero. This is the Cool Pink Duo right here. And this is the Papaya Warm Peach Duo, which is the one I have that's on this side. I will be giving these away as well. And we have the Color and Light Cream Blush and Highlighter Duo. So the Eighth Muse packet will be in the giveaway and I am going to try the Velvet Melon packet. It says it has apricot kernel seed oil, which restores the skin, rose hip seed oil, which brightens and clarifies, and jojoba seed oil, which soothes and balances. Just gonna take my finger, put it, ooh, these are super, super creamy and soft. It almost like sticks. So let's see how this works. This is the highlighter portion of the Velvet Melon. And I'm just gonna gently apply this to the high points of the cheekbone. Kind of wrap it around the eye, maybe a little bit up here over the eyebrow. Ooh, that's pretty. I do like that. Try the Velvet Melon Cream Blush. It, boy, that blends out super easily. The, you can tell these products have a lot of like nourishing oils in them, which I really do like now, but I really do like that highlighter. That is super pretty. And the color of the blush is pretty. I just think it would show up better if I had a better foundation okay, on. Before we get into lips, let's revisit the brows. Now keep in mind, I have no color on the brows, just the clear brow gel. It does not feel super crunchy, but it's definitely holding the brows in place. The mascara, really clumpy. Right, okay. We're going to move on to lips and I have three different products here. All right. So we're going to go into the Kosa Sport Lip Fuel. The Hyaluronic Lip Balm. So it comes in clear, Rush, which is a cool pink and Pulse, which is a warm, toasty spice. It says that this is skincare for your lips, an ultra hydrating hyaluronic lip balm loaded with active skincare ingredients that visibly improves the condition of lips the more you use it. It's hyaluronic acid to hydrate, vitamin E to soothe, wild mint to energize. We're gonna energize our lips and konjac root to protect. I will be giving away the Rush and the Baseline. The Rush, which is the cool pink and the Baseline, which is clear. Gonna energize our lips. I'm excited. 
So I'm just gonna use my finger tip again, go into the product. Okay, so it feels firm, but kind of juicy. Really hydrating, smooth, it's not sticky at all. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we're gonna move on to the weightless lip color. And it says it's a game-changing clean lipstick made with active botanical oils and butters to hydrate and nourish. It has a comfy feel and it lasts all day. So it has mango seed butter, which smooths fine lines. I'm in favor of that. Shea butter to soothe and soften. Cocoa seed butter to support and repair. Rosehip seed oil, which is rich in antioxidants. And jojoba seed oil, which is a vitamin packed moisturizer. So, okay, we're gonna give this a shot. Uh, this is rose water, which is a cool pink. Violet fury, which is fuchsia. Thrillist, which is energizing poppy red. Stardust, which is a warm peachy pink. Phoenix, which is a warm fiery red. Fringe, which is an earthy brick red. Undone, which is neutral pinkish brown. Vegas, a warm beige. Royal, a cool berry. Dark room, a rich Bordeaux. And Electra, a cool red. I'm gonna try the natural, neutral pinkish brown and the warm beige. So the rest of these will go into a giveaway. All right, we're gonna try Vegas first. Okay, I would say that's probably not the most flattering color for me. I do need a little more color. I like the formula. The formula feels really good. Okay, we're gonna try Undone, which is a neutral pinkish brown. I'm not blown away by it. It definitely does not feel as moisturizing as the other product that we tried. All right, so I'm kind of like meh about that. Now we're gonna go into the Wet Lip Oil Gloss. This is juicy and plumping color. comes in one, two, three, four, five shades uh, from, let's see, Jellyfish, Malibu, Boo, which is a cool surfy pink. I didn't know pink could be surfy, but I guess it is, Malibu. Dip, which is a neutral bikini nude. Fruit Juice, which is neutral splashy magenta. And Jaws, which is warm red. I'm gonna go into the dip, which is a neutral bikini nude. So the rest of these will be in the giveaway. So here's what it says. It's 100% treatment, 100% lip gloss. It's a hybrid lip treatment and gloss packed with hydrating active ingredients that visibly plump and protect, all while providing a juicy slick of color. It, it has hyaluronic acid, which attracts water and locks in hydration, peptides for visibly plumping, evening primrose oil, which helps protect against stressors, avocado oil, which cushions and moisturizes, konjac root, which creates a gel-like barrier between lips and the environment, and shea butter, which soothes and softens. So let's try the Neutral Bikini Nude. And this sample is like the foundations. It is very small amount. This feels like a little bit of a sticky, oily kind of thing. It feels really comfortable and hydrating. So there's just like a wash of color. It's a little bit shiny. So I think this would be good for like that really minimalist, no makeup makeup day. Yeah, I like that product a lot. Okay, so the other ones will go into the giveaway. The last product that we have is a Kosas Sport Chemistry Serene Clean uh, Deodorant. I'm not using this, but it has been opened. So in other words, the plastic came off of it. I opened it so you could see what it looks like. I don't smell a thing, but this is a clean, safe deodorant to use. So you shake it up real good, then apply it with the roller ball. Now I have a deodorant already that I like, so I'm not gonna be using this. So I will put this in to the giveaway with the caveat that the plastic has been taken off and it has been 
shaken and the roller ball has been exposed. So if that's okay with you and you trust me <laughs> and you're interested in this, let me know. All right, I think that's everything. So let's go through the products. We had the foundation, which I'm kind of on the border about. I'm not sure I want to, I think uh, the product is $41. And it gives such light sheer coverage that I'm not really sure I'm really interested in that. Although I am a big proponent of clean beauty, which is why I wanted to try out these products. This is specifically targeted towards sensitive skin and kind of that light, fresh look. So I'm thinking this may be a little bit better for younger skin, okay? Except for possibly the the um the lip products okay uh i will say i love the highlighter the cream highlighter i think that's really really pretty the cream blush i'm not positive i think i can see it and it looks nice but i would need to put a better foundation on underneath it the lip products i really did like the lip balm i think i like this one the best and the lip gloss. So I do like these two products quite a bit. The um, cute little airbrow is nice. Um, I would use that. Mascara, probably not. Concealer, even their lightest one is too dark for me and very yellow, so I'm not a big fan of that either. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this review through the sample box from Kosis, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!